This is a breaking development. The Catholic Church has finally used the sledgehammer on the adoration ministry in Ugu, operated by Reverend Father A.G. Kembaka. The Catholic Church has suspended finally and totally any more services at the adoration ground until further notice, indefinite. I mean, the trouble everybody know arose when Father Mbaka decided to attack the person of uh, Peter B, calling him names, calling him stingy, and saying that he can never be a president of Nigeria. Saying that he apologized to him some time ago, but he was under duress, under duress, that the bishop instructed him to do that, and that's why he did it. That was some years ago. So he made an apology, but it wasn't from his heart. He said he was under duress, and that is unbecoming of a reverend father who has been teaching people to forgive and forget. Before we give you all the juicy details of this uh, developing event, we kindly ask you to consider subscribing to our channel. And then send this, uh, share this with those who will find this very beneficial. Now, it was the Archbishop of Enugu, Bishop Onaga, that has been in charge of this uh, diocese and the activities of Father Mbaka because he falls under his diocese. You know, the Catholic Church, they have the way they divided um, the things they do. And now Mbaka has run into big trouble because time without number, he has come in conflict with the bishop. He has decided to always hobnob with these politicians. Every time the election cycle comes, they start visiting Mbaka. The place becomes a mecca and he blesses some. He pronounces who will win. He pronounces who will do this and that for Nigeria. And he has been causing trouble. The most difficult thing is that most of the people he has anointed, that they are chosen by God or they are revealed by the Holy Spirit to him, they eventually won. But when they win, they become worse than the person that Mbaka said was bad. And that is what has been happening. In the time of Jonathan, he said Buhari is the blessing that Nigeria has been waiting for. After a few years, he was he is the one criticizing Buhari today, saying that everything has gone wrong. Peter B, so, or Peter B also, his uh, problem with Mbaka was that he also went there as a politician, I think in 2014 or 20. 19 that he was contesting as a vice president to Atiku to seek for prayers and then Baka said something like they are doing a harvest people are supposed to donate money and he urged Peter Obi to pronounce the amount of money he will donate and Peter Obi being a man of principle said I don't donate cash I have never gone to any occasion and announced a cash donation no show me a project you want to do and I will do what I have to do privately without shouting it out on the microphone. And the Mbaka insisted that he must announce the money. And the people will be stuck to his own principle. And then Mbaka used some kind of words on him, being stingy, not giving, and the rest of it. And after, the bishop told Mbaka to apologize to B. Because it was an insult. Peter B is a Catholic. And for your information, in Peter B's family, there is an ordained reverend father of the uh, reverend sister of the Catholic Church. The sister is a reverend sister, and I think they have a reverend father. And Peter B is not in the Catholic Church. Even the Pope recognizes him as giving him, uh, I think, a papal um, knighthood or something like that. So he's a Catholic. He's known. He knows the rules. He knows how he operates. He doesn't. He's not a man that have ever come to any function and started shouting amount of money he will go. Check all the videos or any story on P2B. You will never hear him donate one money. The only thing is, he can go to an organization, issue them a check, take a photograph, and he goes home. He has given 100 million to hospitals, 20, 50, 10 million, and he does a lot of things quietly. And Bianco Ojuku, the wife of um, the late Odmogu Ojuku, also testified how he behaved. There are so many stories that you can never even, but he never makes a noise. And now Mbaka came back again because it's the political cycle time. 
and rose and started uh, uh, insulting people, be being stingy and this and this, and raining curses. He cursed me, it won't be this, it won't be that. Why? And you open your mouth and say you apologized to him last time, but he was under duress, he wasn't from your heart. So you obeyed the bishop, and now you are disobeying the same bishop. I, I don't understand it. So the whole thing has complicated now, and the people descended on him. All the youth, this is a generation that don't listen to any rubbish, if I might use the word. Excuse me for using that anyway. So they say their mind, you can't, you can't bottle them up. No, it, those generation is gone, not now with the social media. They have access, they can say anything and the whole world will hear it. And look at where it has landed in Baka. He issued an apology yesterday, but that apology is also a bit like a poison chalice because he's still mentioning, I bless him, I bless other candidates. Stop this. This is the Catholic Church. And that's one thing about the Catholic Church. They don't give chances. They have rules and regulations. It's not like others that you do what you want and get away. No, there's a bishop. So I will read the letter of the bishop of Enugu that have suspended everything at the adoration ministry of Mbaka. So he's now under Kula. He can do nothing. He can just go to a parish and say a mass and go home. So let me read it. In the light of the happenings in the Catholic Adoration Ministry of Chap uh, Ministry Chaplain Enugu, capable of undermining the Catholic faith and teachings, and after several fraternal corrections and admonitions to Father Camilo Sejike Mbaka, the chaplains the chaplain of the ministry, and after having given him pastoral directives and guidelines for the ministry chaplaincy, which he persistently violated, and in fulfillment of my pastoral duties as the chief shepherd, with the obligation to promote and safeguard the Catholic faith and morals in Enugu Diocese, I hereby prohibit all Catholic clergy, religious, lay, faithful, henceforth, from attending all religious and liturgical activities of the Catholic Adoration Ministry, until the due canonical process initiated by the diocese is concluded. My decision is based on the fact that some of the teachings and utterances of Father Kamil Seji Kembaka and the Catholic Adoration Ministry are not consistent with the teachings and faith of the Catholic Church. I enjoin all Christian faithfuls to keep praying for Father Mbaka and the Catholic Diocese of Enugu as I entrust him and the diocese to the maternal care and protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary Queen of the Apostles, signed by Bishop Onaga. So it's very simple. He is suspended. They mentioned the canonical. You know, the Catholic Church have their own canon laws. And that's what they use to run the organization, the church, and to discipline priests when it's necessary. So I think Mbaka is in for a long haul. They have to properly examine him. I mean, refine him, cleanse him, watch him, issue directive or punishment where necessary. But this is official. It's closed for now. So that politicians can do their business without going to Enugu to cause more problem. I think this is a good, a right move. What is wrong is wrong. There need to be a correction. So that's why the Catholic Church is what it is. And this is very, very a good way to resolve these um, issues. So all politicians can stay at their home and don't worry about uh, prophecy of Mbaka. Go home, do your politicking and do let the election come and let Nigerians choose who will rule them. God is in control. This is what have just happened, the breaking news. And I decided to bring it to you. I see you in the next video. Please kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you and God bless.